Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take apart this bike that's not working. So I'm going to get out the 48 volt um, battery pack from here. And I'm also going to take out the motor, which is a, which is a uh, stator motor with magnets from there to make like a generator. So we're going to begin first by taking off this plate which has screws that are embedded underneath the surface layer of a uh, kind of grippy sort of sandpaper like uh, paper that's on top and these have an allen screw so we're going to take these out take this off and then try and expose the battery pack and then eventually we're going to get to the wheel and get to the motor so let, let's begin okay now i've got the uh, plate off the foot plate so I should be able to now access the uh, battery pack via these screws over here. So now I'm able to access the battery pack. And here it is. It's a nice looking battery pack. This is awesome. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the recovered battery. And it has bana and a banana plug there, which I can use for charging. The other one, I guess, is uh, also a charging or maybe a voltage sensor but uh, this is awesome so i'm going to check the voltage on this to see if it's any good let me get out my multimeter so the cell is showing up as basically dead it's got half a volt on it i'm going to see if i can recover it by uh, charging it but given that it's got no no juice in it at all that may be difficult so i'm going to try anyway Okay, I've got it connected to a lithium ion battery charger and hopefully we can recover it, but I doubt it given how low the voltage is. Well, we'll find out. With a simple charge, I was able to get this battery charged up to basically uh, full voltage. So it's uh, 48 volts right now and uh, charge is reading completely charged. So it was salvo salvageable. So uh, we have a usable battery now, which I'm gonna use for various projects. Now, let's check the bike. After removing the uh, battery pack and the uh, inverter and all of the other unnecessary circuitry, I stripped the wires off the um, three-phase motor that's in there, and I have these. So I'm gonna come up with a three-phase rectifier. I'm just gonna solder one up and use this to charge batteries and do other things while I, while I use this as a regular unpowered scooter. And I could even run lights and other things with this. So we're gonna test this out shortly. First of all, I need to come up with a good circuit for a three phase rectifier that can handle an output voltage of around 48 to 50 volts. And I have exactly what I need for that. So this is the circuit I plan to use and just use general purpose diodes that can handle at least 10 amps. Um, and here's my three phases from the wheel output, which should be, give me a positive and a negative, which can be smoothed um, with a capacitor to give me uh, a smooth DC output. And then that DC output can either be used to drive something such as a light or some kind of inverter to generate a different voltage. But there's plenty of, of uses for that. So first of all, let's get this thing made and then go to the next step. Well, here's how the setup came together. This is with 10 amp diodes. These are 10 A, 10 A10 diodes, which are general purpose diodes that can handle 10 amps or more. So I think that should be adequate for this bike. Now I've got to wire this up. Now here's the rectifier wired up. So we have our three phase input here and pass a negative DC output here. Now let's scope the output of the wheel. So the three phase wires that connect to the uh, three phase motor in the um, wheel are typically covered blue, green, and yellow. And it doesn't matter which one you can scope, you can scope any two of these. So I'm gonna connect this up to an oscilloscope and do it right now. It 
turn on the scope. So now I'm going to turn this wheel, but just by hand, kind of slowly, not real fast. And you can see the output from one of the three outputs of the three phase motor in here. I'm getting about 10 volts, just turning it by hand. 10 volts peak to peak. Well, actually, more than that, I'm getting about 20 volts peak to peak. As you can see here, I'm sure I could probably go up 48 volts. So, and I'll turn it real slow now. I'm just gonna turn it like this. And I'm getting five volts peak to peak, just turning it real slow. If I turn it backwards, same thing. It just changes the phase. So here's the final bike mod. Here's my three phase output from the back wheel. The three phases go into this homemade uh, three phase rectifier. And I have a little test bulb here. And I'm just gonna hand turn the wheel to show you how the bulb lights up. Here goes. So my three-phase rectifier is working and I'm getting DC power, um, which I could store in a capacitor or do other things with. Well, I'm glad you had a chance to watch this video, folks, and uh, how to mod one of these bikes if they, don't, if they stop working instead of just throwing them out. And uh, to do some useful stuff with the, uh, the motor on these to make electricity. Thanks and please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe if you like this type of video.